All right, Peter Malnati, a little errant tee shot, and his second here on five comes up short. The resplendent Rory Sabatini at the 18th. Trying to get a little cute with that one. There wasn't much room to work with, though. Now we'll play his fourth. Matt Wallace got a free drop from a temporary immovable instruction, so this is his second. Uh -oh. And I don't think it went very far. There it is. That's the immovable obstruction right there. It's the TV tower. Should be able to pop this up okay. Easy. Sit down. Sit. Okay. All right, so. Matt will have that left for bogey. A little bit of effect zero to where he's going on. I mean, both of those swings, Aaron, they're pretty soft. I mean, I know you're just trying to pop it up there, but you got to hit that with a little, little more authority. He just didn't swing hard enough. Was he inside or outside the hazard line there? He was on it, so he was inside. On it, so inside. So he can't play the next shot from where he was. One over the projected cut. So big shot for Simpson. And the chunk in the bunker was a real possibility there. Wow. I had to figure out a way to get that on the green under the circumstances, and unfortunately. Bunkers are packed heavy. Got to get a little sand. You can just hear it, Steve. The sound, the wedge bouncing right into the middle of the ball. Oh. That's not, you just can't do that. You cannot leave that in there. The shot now, probably a million times simpler. You see how much the ball's below his feet. That usually means the heel's gonna hit first. And that's why you have a hard time spinning it. Watch the heel come in and crash into the ground first. The heel digs, folks. The toe cuts and just didn't get enough of it. Well, that better settle. Stop, stop. We've got eyes on dimples above water. Yes, absolutely. You almost have to feel like you're going to try and hit a bunker shot into, oh no, into that green side bunker. Yeah, it just went straight up in the air. He chipped it into the bunker, ended up making four. And oh look no! At this. no oh no! This is disaster. Oh, that was that was a big time mistake right there. Grant took a wicked hack at that one, and that should be at the bottom of the pond. Well, the problem with that now is his drop is either going to be in the bunker, or he's going to have to go back to the drop circle. Well, I don't know if I would rather be here or in the water, and he is in both. Uh, yeah, he was just trying to, it, that was too much speed. And he's going to leave it in there. If he can just get it on that upslope, maybe try to bounce it through the, the bunker somehow. Yeah, that's kind of all he had. It'll be on the upslope there and try to get up and down and make your bogey. Yeah, just trying to get this to come out low, maybe run and skip it through the bunker, get lucky with a, a bounce or a kick and, and possibly get it up onto the surface. But uh, it was a very safe and conservative play to sort of hopefully take double out yeah, of the equation. Taking the water out of play on the other side. Obviously you got the stance issue and he's not even aiming towards the flag stick and just maybe trying to move it 10 feet or so on the bunker. Set up the abortion's board. That is what can happen from the bunker as Gerard was not able to get it on the green zing and just now perched up there in two. Yeah, that's a tough break. We've seen a lot of balls go in that bunker. Very few of them have buried in there. And he's just trying not to make double bogey from this position, Dan. It's nicely behind it. No follow through. Just plop it out. Maybe make a par. Don't make a double.
getting what you call experience. Oh no, no, let's stay. Oh. Yeah, don't let this camera angle fool you. It's all, so oh, he's caught all ball there. That is. Just gonna try and dig down with the leading edge, get it to come up in that water, then use the bounce to kind of surf along like a surfboard and get the ball up and out. Oh, Harry Hall. Oh, oh, hard oh he's gonna, he might have another crack you know at it. That come on, Harry. That ball's floating a little bit. Do he it. might do it again. At this 482 yard par four. Oh, it's suddenly raveling a little bit for Eric. We've got some live action, a shirtless Austin Cook here. And we've seen this quite a bit. Guys catching uh, a ball short in the mud, not quite yet in the water. And Austin Cook having a day already running into a complete mess here. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.